the Nelcor Bedside Respiratory Patient Monitoring System, PM1000N, is designed for easy setup and use. On the back of the monitor, you'll find the equipotential connector, AC power, fuse drawer, and access to the monitor's battery. The front panel provides the connection to the sensor port. The power button is on the top left of the panel. Just press and hold the button to turn the monitor on or off. On the side of the monitor, you will find several ports. These ports provide connectivity and the ability to download data and perform system upgrades. The state-of-the-art color touchscreen interface is designed to be both easy to read and easy to use, so you can see critical patient information quickly. Key parameter measurements are displayed prominently. They are readable from any angle and lighting situation. This readability constitutes normal workflow in all acuity settings. All critical patient status information is displayed on the main screen. This makes it easy for clinicians to access the information they need from one screen rather than having to sort through many screens. The main view of the LCD display provides values for arterial blood oxygen saturation, pulse rate and respiration rate in prominent numbers that can be read at a glance. You can also easily view the plethysmographic waveform. The main monitor view includes a status field, upper and lower alarm limits for SpO2, advanced alarm management tools of sat seconds and saturation pattern detection, pulse beat icon, alarm silence, menu, help, screen lock, battery indicator, and date and time. Under the menu, you have the ability to modify several settings including alarm limits, monitoring history, event marking, sound settings, monitoring settings, connectivity settings, and data export. To access monitoring layout, touch menu and then touch monitoring settings submenu. Here you have the ability to choose how the monitoring information is displayed. To access the alarm limits, touch the limit range or navigate to the menu and select Alarm Limits submenu. From this menu, you can adjust the alarm limits for SpO2, pulse rate, respiration rate, sat seconds, and saturation pattern detection. To access alarm mode, touch menu and select Monitoring Settings submenu. From this menu, you can choose settings for adult or neonatal patients. Under the Monitoring History submenu, you can review monitoring history by trend, clinical log, or histogram. To access the monitoring trend information, touch Menu, Monitoring History submenu, and select Trends. From this menu, you can view real-time trend information. Users have the ability to modify the timescale for SpO2, pulse rate, respiration rate, and event markers. By pressing on the main trend screen, you can view a trend review pop-up for a specific instance. Users can mark changes in patient monitoring status by adding an event marker. To do this, press Menu and then select Mark Event. There are four options to choose from. Intervention, Medication, Observation or Transfer. You can download patient data using the functions in the Data Export submenu. To access sound settings, touch Menu and Sound Settings submenu. From here you can modify alarm, pulse beat and button click volume. When an alarm occurs, the alarm will be visually highlighted in the monitoring status field and in the parameter of concern. The monitoring status field will flash for medium and high priority alarms. Audible alarms are also provided unless disabled. Users can silence the alarm by touching the Alarm Silence button. Alarm silence durations may be adjusted within the Monitoring Settings menu. Select More Info to view additional detail about the alarm. The monitor offers a Help menu, providing the user with greater detail without having to refer to an operator's or system's manual. Beyond the everyday use of the monitor, users can modify settings and functionality within the Service menu. The Service menu is password protected and should only be accessed by approved personnel. This submenu provides additional settings that can be modified, including neonatal default and sensor priority settings.